Hey, what's up? We're going to be talking about Ginkgo Biloba, a nootropic that is so great. That's one of my favorites, especially when it comes to ADHD. It's something I use personally that really helped me through college, medical school by using this actual simple herb. So let's talk about it right after this intro. Welcome back, my Optimal Mind performers, my Optimal Mind leaders. Today, we're going to be talking about Ginkgo Biloba. So this is an actual another part of the series of the nootropics, basically series of what I think are really beneficial for basically helping improve the mind. So check out that series if you have not already. But today, we're going to be talking about Ginkgo Biloba. And this is by far one of my favorite nootropics, basically specifically for ADHD. And it's something I used in college. In fact, when I first started using it, because I had a tough time trying to retain information in class while I was in college, especially when I was trying to take notes. I always would kind of forget what the professor said, you know, a couple sentences ago, or, you know, I just would not be able to keep up with my notes. And so I really struggled in this area a lot. But when I started taking a ginkgo biloba extract for a while, I also realized I was able to retain the information. I was able to keep up with my notes. In fact, I could recall what if I couldn't write it all down fast enough, I could recall what the professor said a couple minutes ago. It was really kind of really aha experience for me. I realized, wow, maybe this stuff has something to do with helping with my ADC, with my attention, and helping with my sharpness and memory and focus. So I'm going to talk about three in areas where this actually does help improve and something that I've been using for myself, but I also use for my patients with ADHD. But even if you don't have ADHD, it's something you can certainly use to help with improve your memory, focus, attention if you struggle in that area and you don't particularly have ADHD. So the very first thing as far as what's going on in the brain when you actually are taking ginkgo biloba is it increases blood flow to the brain. So sometimes we there's that phrase as if, if you don't use it, you lose it. So as we get older, if we're not using our brain, we can tend to lose it. We tend to have Alzheimer's and you know issues with that as far as we get older, our memory starts to fade if we're not trying to challenge it enough. So it's always important to use that. But with ginkgo biloba, it does help increase blood flow to the brain. So we're constantly having blood flow circulating through there, as well as helping us to be able to be able to perform better when it is necessary, especially something like school or work. So that's what one benefit that ginkgo biloba can do with that particular property. The second thing, and I want to talk about a study here that they actually did, is that it does help improve memory, focus, and attention, and does has helped reduce core ADHD symptoms. So a study what they did is they took a group of kids. Now this is kind of a smaller study. I think it was like about 20 plus type of kids that had ADHD and they had them take a, about 240 milligrams of ginkgo biloba, which is a very high amount. And so before you do any kind of deciding to take, you know, ginkgo biloba, you always need to check with your doctor first. But this is what they did in the study. And what they did find is it did help improve basically cognitive retention. It did help with mental sharpness and figuring out, you know, tasks and stuff like that. But also they did find that basically it did decrease on core ADHD symptom. And they took this ginkgo biloba, the 240 milligrams for about three to five weeks and were able to see these improvements. Now, on the other side, there was another study done. So you always got to look at different kind of studies because just because it might work for some doesn't work for everybody. So they did another study where they did a comparison of basically looking at ginkgo biloba and Ritalin, which is a very common ADHD medication. What they did find is both of them did improve actual, you know, ADHD symptoms, specifically more in the inattentive type. But obviously a Ritalin did have more of a benefit, did have more improvement, but ginkgo biloba did as well. So there's something to kind of take note that ginkgo biloba does have something. It might not be able to have the same strong effects as Ritalin because it's a very concentrated dose of medication versus just an herb. And what I always say about herbs is herbs don't come with the side effects. It's, you know, you can use it, but you got to have it give it more time. It kind of gets the benefits over time. It isn't something that works quickly, like something like Ritalin, but over time, like what you see in the previous study, it took about three to five weeks before. The third thing that ginkgo biloba has been shown in studies that is actually a benefit is it can help improve the effectiveness of HD medication such, such as Ritalin. So what they did in this study is they basically took people who already were taking things such as Ritalin or other different types of HD medications and they added ginkgo biloba to their treatment. And what they found after a period of time 
is that it increased the effectiveness of the Ritalin or whatever HD medication that they were on, increased it by 35% in one area, which was the inattentive type. So it did help improve inattention. It didn't necessarily improve hyperactivity symptoms, but it did improve inattentive symptoms. So this is something that you should probably go seek out your doctor for, especially if they have some knowledge around herbs and stuff like that. It might be a little more difficult. So you have to kind of look for maybe a holistic doctor or an MD that has had additional training in herbs and natural and alternative medicine, which they do exist. Uh, I'm one of them. You know, I do focus a lot on alternative medicine and stuff like that. But it's something that you need to kind of seek out before you decide to just start experimenting with ginkgo biloba with your medication because... There is interaction, so you have to be very careful as far as the dosages with your medications. Now, as far as when it comes to if you aren't taking medications, you just got to be careful of uh, the dosage and just trying to experiment with that and not using it too high. But there's since you're not taking any medications, there's not going to be any interaction there, so it's usually safe to take. But still, you always want to make sure you're checking with your doctor first. But I hope you guys found this beneficial. And if you are needing more further guidance as far as what types of labs to run for ADHD, what types of supplements, nutrients, and foods to implement for your ADHD, I have a free downloadable guide in the description below for both adults with ADHD as well as parents who have kids with ADHD. And you can find that in the description below. So until next time, this is Dr. Grand signing out. And remember, you have an awesome mind. Thanks. Bye.